This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Wednesday, August 9th, 2023. Let's begin with a reading from Scripture. We'll read from Matthew 5 today. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, hello. Good to be with you. Thanks for listening. Let's get right to the news for the Morning Five today. First, the New York Times is reporting that uh, later today, uh, the Biden administration will announce new restrictions on American investments in certain advanced industries in China. The move... Uh, uh, is uh, said to be necessary to protect national security, but also likely to open up a new front in the economic uh, tensions with China. The measure would be one of the first significant steps the U.S. has taken in its economic clash with China to clamp down on financial flows and could set the stage for more restrictions uh, but on investments between the two countries in years to come. Second item, yesterday an election was held in Ohio on uh, issue one, which was a vote to raise uh, the percentage needed to, to amend the state constitution and referendum votes uh, to 60% from what it's currently at 50%. The vote was largely seen as a move to try and prevent uh, a uh, referendum uh, enshrining a legal right to abortion uh, in the state of uh, Ohio. Um, Currently, uh, that issue is polling at about 58, 59% that support putting a legal right to abortion uh, in state constitution of Ohio, preventing the state from uh, regulating abortion uh, until uh, after viability. Uh, And uh, so the vote yesterday, again, making it harder to amend the state constitution, uh, seems to make it more likely that this this referendum uh, on, on abortion will pass later this year. Finally, a fascinating article in Politico on uh, the headline is A Simple Law is Doing the Impossible. It's making the online porn industry uh, retreat. Uh, The article written by Mark Novikoff uh, uh, follows a freshman legislator in Louisiana's House of Representatives who advanced a law uh, that seems, again, pretty simple, but requires uh, uh, pornography websites to have age verification on the website. And because of the difficulty of of implementing and enforcing these uh, age verification in in some of the states where laws like this have been passed, Uh, And uh, Louisiana's age verification bill was the first, but nearly identical bills have passed in six other states, Arkansas, Montana, Mississippi, Utah, Virginia, Texas, uh, uh, 
it's important to note these bills have passed uh, by huge bipartisan, uh, with huge bipartisan support, signed by Democratic and Republican governors. Uh, in several of the states where these laws have passed, uh, some of the major uh, pornography websites have ceased to operate in the state, uh, saying again that uh, 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 following the law is too difficult on, on their business model. So a fascinating, fascinating story. I would encourage you to, to, to check it out. All right, that's uh, all we have for you today for the Morning 5. Again, thanks for listening. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge and you have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, thanks for listening. Have a good day.